As most of you know, smartphone apps are really on the rise. But, and they're also impacting the way work is performed on our construction job sites. But here's my question for you. Are they really safe? That's what we're gonna talk about on the show today. So with me is Carl Heinlein. He's the safety senior consultant at the American Contractors Insurance Group and the director at large at the American Society of Safety Engineers. Carl, welcome back to the show. Great to be back. You know, you're like my partner in crime here on all well, these discussions. Very important discussions. And you know what? So let's talk about it. We see all of these apps now and everyone's talking about the importance of them. But my first question, are they becoming a distraction to what's really helping at the job site, or are they really a valuable tool? Well, it, it, that is a great question because, um, you know, it seems like about every week there's a new app that comes out that's uh, something construction related. So, like, there's an app for that? Sure. There's <laughs> an app for all your apps. There's probably an app for all your apps, but, uh, you know, the, the biggest thing that what we're seeing out uh, with the cell phones is distraction. Distracted walking, distracted driving, so there's pros and certainly cons with technology, and uh, we're seeing uh, both sides right now. So when we say this, we want these apps, but should they be used in the field right now? I mean, is there really a necessity for it? Because we talk about all this technology being used in all these big cranes. Now we're bringing smartphones into the cranes as well. I mean, now think about all these things you have to look at in, in there. Now you've got to think about what's happening yes. around you. You've got drones. You've got all kinds of things. How does a worker be able to keep control and being able to be safe at the same time. Now we talk about fatigue. We're talking about all these things happening at the same time. Are we being able to manage what's going on around us with all this technology? Well, it, 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 it starts even before the cell phone. So within construction companies, what we're starting to see is no phones allowed on the job. So no phones allowed on the job. That's like in the office, people are saying, you know, those, because, you know, because sometimes you think, are people doing things, are they getting calls from their personal family, are they looking at social media, Twitter accounts and things like that, but how does that change that, because there are apps that are for project management and sure, things like that, sure. getting deliveries, if you say that, how does that change the dynamic of how technology has really changed what we do at the job site, if you say that, is that really going to create more havoc than it does by saying no app, you know, smartphones, no apps, no anything on the job site? Well, I, I think that uh, as our millennials and folks that are very interested in technology continue to expand within our construction companies and projects, it really starts with the company culture. You know, what is technology going to do for us? How are we going to utilize it? When are we going to utilize it? And really, what are the, the apps that we're going to use? But really, we have to have some sort of controls on who has cell phones on our projects because they can be a big distractor and create uh, risks on the projects. So if we say no smartphones on the job site, is there any apps then that you would recommend? Because if you say none, then I guess there's no apps you're going to recommend sure. either. So it's a, it's a catch-22 right there. It is. So again, comes to the company culture, uh, instead of just getting rid of everything, what are we going to utilize them for? What are they going to be the benefits? Who's going to use them? So there's a number of great apps out there for uh, hearing for noise or chemicals or ladder angles. So there's a lot of great apps out there, but we have to have some uh, really some, some rules in place to make sure it's just not over the place. Because again, sometimes technology is the pros or you also can have the cons. So the culture. How do we get companies and employees to know when they have to be aware of that culture. I mean, again, does it go back to that training that we're always saying, training, training, training? You know, we always say location, location, location. I say that sure. all the time here. But do you create that culture that's repetition again because you constantly bring in new employees? Do you have to then have these classes and say, here, we have to remind everybody about what we're doing, how we're doing it. Is that what has to be done on a regular, is there somebody that has to be in charge of all of this that manages it so that the company knows it, the insurance company knows it? It's kind of a, a three-prong kind of approach? Oh, oh three, four, seven, 17. <laughs> I was with a contractor the other day. They have 17 different operating systems. So technology's all over the place. But really, I think it comes with, when again, onboarding the employees. You know, we have a number of folks that have not been in the, this industry before. So I think it starts with day one and then consistent enforcement out there. We can certainly utilize these apps as a positive for the job. It just has to, when we start with people coming onto the project, 
what are we going to use them for, who's going to use them and when. So that's the importance. When we look down the road to all of this right now and we say here's what the construction industry is going to be right now, is there something that you see that has changed the industry that is now for the good? I mean, that it says they can't live without because we know the iPhone changed us and our lives are never going to be the same. Are you seeing that right now with any technology that you say we're never like drones? We say drones are taking us so we don't have to go in areas that we never had to before, in riskier areas. We can fly a drone, the sure. human doesn't have to go. Are there things like apps that we have that are making that possible that we say we're going to have to have that? I think that everyone should be taking a look at some of the education apps out there. You know, uh, apps now are utilizing colors and graphics, so it makes it much easier for our construction population. In a lot of cases, is uh, really uh, bilingual, in some cases trilingual. So apps are utilizing gaming type of technology, colors, uh, uh, figurine type of things that really workers understand, regardless of their education level and their language. So I think that you're going to see a lot of gamification in the apps moving forward. So it's interesting. So I think, Carl, it's, it's interesting that we see where the smart apps are coming, what they're doing, and, and it's great to see that if we use this and we have a culture at the job site for it, that we can actually be smart at the way we use these. Carl, I've enjoyed having great. you. Thank you so much for spending time with us here. Always great being here. Thank you. All right. Well, now we have Carl Heinlein. He's the Senior Safety Consultant at the American Contractors Insurance Group and the Director at Large for the American Society of Safety Engineers. And that's your Safety Zone for today.